All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Watch Dogs. Before we get into the video today, I would just like to remind y'all to hit that like button and subscribe button, as well as if y'all would like to help further support the channel, there is also a donation link set up in the description of the video. Without further ado, all that being said, let's jump right into the game here and we pick up right back where we left off at last time guys Sick of remembering her that way. It's never a dream of her tiny face pressing the window when she knows I was coming over. Or that little wobbly dance she did. It's always the same nightmare. Oh, was this male? Was this? All right. And exit. Where's the exit? Oh. Over here. I need to get my mind off things. Lucky for me, this city's full of distractions. And they can't hide from me. Oh, okay. Profile people. Wait a minute. You're worked up over some test you took on the internet? Oh, man, it wasn't just any sort of test. It was the test to see if you're a psychopath. I'll have to thank CTOS one day. Simple breach of their facial recognition software, and I've got access to everyone's personal details. Excuse me. Hey, excuse you. Coming up for one time hacks. Careful now. Y tú que tienes? No, no, okay. Okay. no, hang on, hang on. Hey, did you hear me talking to you? Come on. Hey, you gay or something? Come back. You're <laughs> I'm not gonna let him hurt anyone today. Simple trace of his call and he's mine. I guess we'll run down there. Doesn't look like it's too far away. Investigate the potential crime. Strength with an eating disorder. All right, well, I'm taking your money too, girl. <laughs> I hope that doesn't have any long-term consequences. That would suck if it did. Just move carefully. Don't get spotted. Let the profiler do the work. Reach the area. Profile to identify. Wait for a CTOS alert to... Warning before you intervene. Catch the criminal without killing him for greater reputation reward. Okay. She must be the woman he's after. <laughs> this guy's close. I can feel it. Get 
Great, that's what this city needs more of. Hey! We need to talk. There is nothing to talk about. We're done. Deal with You're it. You're so fucking wrong. I'm not done yet. I gotta stop now. Shit, son. All right, where are you going? How do you get there? Target is escaping. No, no, he's not. Really? He's not escaping. I can assure you on that one. Catch up to him slowly but surely. Twelve meters out. I don't shoot. Come on here. Alright, and then what? Ticket. How do I put my weapon away? That's a big one. Nikki, hey, I know, I know, the party started. It's almost over. Where are you? I'm on my way. Ugh, you make me crazy. Jackson's really looking forward to it. Get over here. We miss you. I miss you too. I'll be there. Sorry, Nick, I need to take this. I'll, I'll see you soon. Good. You got out. Look, if you need some wheels, give me a call. I'll, I'll set you up. Pre-owned cars? You'd rather register yourself at a car dealer? I don't ask questions. This guy gets me any ride I want. And you, if you need it. I just might. How's Maurice doing? Oh, he's all sunshine and buttercups. I'm gonna dump him at my little dumping place. I need him alive, Jordy. Yeah, yeah, alive. Whatever. Goes against your better nature, huh? I'd pop him and be done, but hey, you pay me right, I'll keep him alive as long as you want. I do work for a paycheck. Thank you. All right, open your smartphone, car on demand. Unlock cars for purchase by driving them or by hacking civilians. Purchase vehicles directly in the car on demand app. Not during missions, so... Metro truck, garbage truck. But I don't want heavy. No, oh, okay, then we got motorcycles, muscle, sport. Don't have anything nice here. All right, so we'll go. We'll just go ahead and uh, do this one. Because I don't know where we're going. Um, let's get onto the map here. Oh, we gotta go way up there. Okay. It looks like they didn't even stop and check on that guy that we took down back there. Yeah, sure. It's a blast. And what are some of the things 
things that can happen. Everyone's experience is different. I was in the giant spider. It makes me super alert. I use it when I'm studying for an exam. All right, what now? I haven't had any weird trips like some others have had. It's fun. Yeah, I was able to climb up the side of a building. Oh, you I probably have to get out. Yeah. I haven't been in Nikki since the funeral. Am I ready? Jack's last birthday, Lena sang off key. Happy birthday. Full throttle, no holes barred. Now, I'm afraid of the silence. Right, join the party in the backyard. Go ahead and drive on in there. I don't know how these work. If you get to keep your vehicle or whatever, but got to find out. We're just gonna put that away. We don't need it, to be honest with you. Oh, so we're just gonna go around the side. Okay. Here it goes. Well, in that case, uh, you deserve ten birthday tickles. What? One, two, three, four, oh. five, six, Stop. seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> ten. 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 Stay here for a second. So, an entire year and... and yeah, late. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nate. Really. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> it's his first birthday without Lena. Oh, how's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Just slow. It's hard, but we're gonna get through it. Mm -hmm. Jax. Hey. S sorry I'm late. Can I, uh, can we get a hug? Wow. You are big. <laughs> So, hey, what, what do you got there? Wow, the healer. Cool. You bought him a real toy, huh? <laughs> Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm gonna speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be I'll be up there in a sec. This matters. You being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. You and Jax are the most important people in my life. I'm not going to stop watching out for you. <laughs> Always the big brother, huh? Last time I was back here, it was Lena's birthday. Jackson adored her. We all did. You missed all the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating that guy they keep talking about on TV. Let me guess. Jax was the vigilante. No, they were all the vigilantes, and I was the only villain, but I make a mean bad guy. <laughs> I gave him hell. I should have come earlier. I could have warned them. Don't mess with my sister. Remember when you and mom were both sick as dogs, but dad insisted his boy was gonna have his birthday cake? 
That thing was an abomination, all burnt and lopsided. That was Dad in a nutshell. He did a lot of ugly things, but it was always about family. <sighs> Listen to me, I'm rambling. Oh, really? <laughs> no, 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 don't. Listen, the police can trace this call. I know where you live. How are the locks on those doors? Who is this? Why are you calling? Do you feel safe, Nikki? Who was that? Doesn't matter, just some stupid crank, it happens. Do you think this is strong enough? Look, did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine? He thinks he can get inside. How do you know what he thinks? You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own. We do not need your help. Nikki, I can find this guy. Okay, look, Aiden, God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. I better go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Grown man making crank calls. Let's see how safe you feel when I trace your call. There you are. Damn it. He's on the move. Ah, crap. Now I gotta drive and take him down. Uh, if I didn't run into it, I would have taken the car, but I guess it wouldn't have been that great of an idea. should be some kind of berries or something up here that I can raise up. Yeah? I'm sorry. I overreacted. You just make me so crazy sometimes. Uh-huh. Come on back, okay? I promise I won't freak out on you. Try to take this guy down without, yep, having to hurt him too badly. So we have a deal? Shit, yeah, I can't believe you're paying me that much just to make a crank call. Nikki Pierce, right? I'll mention the locks like you said. And her kid. I, I, this feels wrong. That's the point. No way. This, this isn't happening. This isn't happening. Oh, God. Someone paid this asshole to harass Nikki. Who would pay for something like that? You just said who? Get anywhere with DeadSec? Any of those CTOS hacks? Yeah, I'm still trying. They're kicking you out. Holy crap. Give me time. Okay. Well, I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I refuse my best client? Jesus! Wait, what am I looking at here? It's from a guy who threatened my family. I want to know who hired him. Well, the call came from somewhere in the Loop District. Is that a... But that's as far as I can see. Is that a... Okay, if I can hack CTOS inside the Loop. Then I should be able to pinpoint the source of that call. Let's do that. Bloom's building a new CTOS center in the Loop. It's perfect. DeadSec tried to attack that center last month. We failed, and they just added more armed guards. So it won't be easy. Be careful. You sound like my sister. Relax. Make sure I'm armed and dangerous. 
Yeah. Dang, man. Alrighty. Bloom hires private contractors to guard their CTOS centers. These guys will be geared up and wired for action. But I'll be ready. Yeah, how do I put away a weapon? So I don't know how to put away a gun. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Welcome to our segment, Power Profiles. Today, we're exploring the life of Dermot Lucky Quinn. Quinn is one of Chicago's most powerful and respected men. His empire stretches across the country and overseas. His personal wealth is estimated at $40 billion. Here at home, he owns buildings, land, hotels, and numerous successful businesses. If CTOS doubles their guards, I better double my weapons. Yeah, well, no, that makes sense. Welcome. What is it you're looking for today? Looking for a nice AR. Not too expensive, not too cheap. Over the past few weeks, CTOS centers throughout Chicago have increased security due to several attacks from activist hacker group DeadSec. When asked about security changes, Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner was decisive. Chicago's safety is paramount. And right, now we're going to go right up here. Jump right into another mission. Okay, so those actually do damage. That's pretty cool. This new security is no joke. I need access. How to find out who's targeting my family. I want that voice behind the phone call. Alright, we will get it, Aiden. I think Aiden, right? Adrian, Aiden, I don't remember. Um, <laughs> okay, they guard with an access code. And how would I do that? I guess. Just Um, guess we'll just keep going through cameras so I can find one as a security code. Okay, so he will call in reinforcements. Huh? 
What's going on? I've got better things to do. TOS is compiling every intimate detail from private citizens. It's no wonder DeadSec despises CTOS. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is inside of a home. And look at where we're at today. This game was made how many years ago? I'm hacked in. What? You mean you're in the CTOS already? I'm looking at the network as we speak. You got your access, and I've got mine. Profiler systems online. Everybody's nasty little secrets at the click of a button. This thing's highlighting all kinds of stuff in the district. I could take advantage of some of this. Keep an eye out for online traffic. Could be fixers in the network. If I can see them, they can see me. All right, I gotta move. I made a lot of noise here. Give me time to track your caller. I'll be in touch. All right, so it should be pretty simple to get out of here. Can you hurry, please? Whoa! I'm not feeling. Wait. Oh God. Oh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're good. I didn't cause too much noise. Okay, okay, everyone knows you're there. Whoa. Actually, any, uh, go, get out of the way. Really? Stop. Dang. That wasn't my fault. 100% not my fault. <laughs> hey, I need you to cover something for me. What is it? Whoa. I lined up a lucrative deal with a very demanding client. He needs a driver. No. But here's the thing. I come in this morning, find Maurice trying to dig his way out of the guest room. So I need to move him. Now I could pass this problem on to you since Maurice is really your problem. But that's not my style. I always finish what I start and all I'm asking of you. All right, fine, I'll handle it. Well, no, don't let me push you out. I said I'd handle it. What's the job, exactly? It's a delivery job. Gotta move some guy. I mean, how hard is that? Just keep in mind my reputation's on the line here. He's paying top dollar for the best driver in Chicago. Then he's in luck. All right, guys. Then I'm going to call it an episode here. Um, if you liked the content you've seen before you or you want to see more, just don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button. As well as, like I said in the beginning of the episode, if you'd like to help out the channel further there's also a donation link in the description however guys we are going to end it here and i will see you on the next episode bye bye guys